Can we believe it? It's 2023. I'm so excited to be back. I wanted to have a week break from uploading just so I could enjoy the holidays and relax. But today we are back. So excited for this one. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to bake bread. I'm just kidding. We're going to be making something on the center knitting machine. You guys are absolutely obsessed with this machine and like rightly so because I'm obsessed too. Every time I post a video of this center knitting machine, everyone's like, please do more, please do more. So here you go. I have to please the people. I really want to make full outfit today. We've done a top, we've done a skirt. I just want to make like a whole outfit and I actually found the prettiest yarn. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. You ready? This is it. It is the Vera Moda Daisy yarn. 41% acrylic, 18% nylon, 12% mohair, 23% glitter, 6% superwash wool. And it is just beautiful and sparkly. And as soon as I saw this, I immediately grabbed like four of these. If you know me, you know that purple is my favorite color and I love anything with sparkles. Like I've never worked with yarn that has sparkles in it. I'm so excited. So I want to make like a full on outfit. With this, New Year's already gone, but I feel like this could have made a really cute like New Year's outfit with the sparkles. Maybe just like something like a fancy event or like my birthday. My birthday's not till like May, but I can be prepared. Like this is just such a fun yarn and I really wanted to make just a whole bunch of things with it. So, so that's what we're gonna be doing now. I am hoping I have enough of this to be able to make like a long sleeve top, a skirt, We'll see, we'll see what else. We'll see where this takes us. This could really take us on a journey. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I hope you're excited. Let's just get started, I guess. As always, of course, we're using the knitting machine, scissors, measuring tape, darning needle that comes with the machine, my yarn bowl, and a crochet hook. Okay, I think we're gonna start out with making like a cardigan top kind of thing. I've not made a cardigan before but someone commented on one of my last videos with this machine and I was like that is genius. So we're gonna figure out today how to make a cardigan. I feel like the process of making a cardigan is you usually have like one big back panel and then two like smaller panels for like the sides and then you have sleeves obviously. So I feel like we can definitely do this on this machine. I think for the back panel though because obviously you can only really make like a 48 pin like panel i might make two 25 30 pin panels and then sew it together to make a, like a bigger back panel because i want this to be kind of like oversized a little bit i don't want it to be too tight i want it to be a little bit loose on me and have that kind of look so i think that's the plan and then for the front like two panels we can make them like 25 pins or something like that. We'll see how this goes, but I think we'll start off with making the panels. So obviously, we set the machine to panel mode. So this isn't going to be so much of a tutorial because I don't really know what the heck I'm doing. We're just having fun here, playing around, just figuring stuff out as we go. If you want a proper tutorial on how to make a top with this, I will have that linked in the cards for you so you can go watch that. I want this to be quite like big and slouchy on me. So I'm gonna do maybe 35 pins, remembering that the first two pins kind of drop. So I guess we'll go to 37. This is all just a guessing game, honestly. I have no idea if this is gonna be too big or too small. Look at this. It's actually so pretty. I love how that looks. Oh, the sparkles are coming through so well. Oh my god. This is making me so happy. So I'd watch you through my phone and tell you you're the only one that I need. 
It's easier to say when you're sleeping. Sometimes I think I still need closure. But it's been years since we've been over. So I'm letting go this time. We have some updates. So, as you saw, I stitched the two back panels together to make like a long panel. And I feel like this is going to be a really good size. It might be a little bit too big, but I don't know. I feel like it'll, it'll work. We'll make it work. For anyone wondering, this is how you would make kind of like a bigger long sleeve top. You would make like two of these and I guess like stitch them together. But yeah, so we've got the back panel all done. And then I did start on the first front panel. I have attached it to the back panel just because I wanted to see like the sizing and if it would work. I think it might work with like the idea that I want. That's what we've kind of got so far. I have made a little start here on the second front panel, but right now it is 1.19 p.m. and I've not eaten anything except for my matcha. So I'm gonna go get some food and then we actually have a fun little errand to run. So we're gonna do that. So we'll probably be back at this in a few hours or maybe tomorrow depending on how this errand goes but that is the progress so far let's go eat some food and then go run my errand okay i'm a little sweaty it is so freaking hot today but i've run my errand and i'm so excited so i don't know who will care about this but i wanted to show you because i'm excited basically i bought this digital camera from facebook marketplace i've been super into like vintage cameras like i'm filming on a camcorder although this one isn't vintage but like i've been loving like film cameras and i really wanted an old digital camera and i saw this one on facebook marketplace and i was like i have to get it it is so so cool and here it is it's so cool i love that i can like spin either way so you can like take a selfie like that it even works like just like this it is just so cool it's just like so old i love old tech like this anyway that was my errand i am gonna head home now and we will continue working on our sparkly set so let's pop on some taylor swift and drive home <laughs> Okay, we have two front panels. Kinda just looks like a funky scarf. I could just, that looks fun. <laughs> anyway, I have finished the second front panel and I've attached it. So you can, you can kind of like see a cardigan starting to form. So now the basic like foundation of the cardigan is done. Now what we need to do is sleeves and then I want to do little tie up ribbons in the center. So for the ribbons, I'm going to crochet them. So we'll do that maybe as like the last step. So I guess all that's left to do on the machine for this piece is the sleeves. It's literally going to go in the round and work up a tube. I want kind of like longer sleeves. So I'm going to do maybe like 120 rows. I usually do like 110 rows, but I just want a little bit longer. So I'm going to do like 120 rows on the tube setting. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to that. <laughs> Okay, we're done with the sleeve and I'm about to cast off, but I thought I'd show you how I cast off because um, someone asked me in my last video to show you guys. So essentially I've just cut a really long tail, thread that through the darning needle and I already did this part, I forgot to show you, but you basically pull the strands and hold them in the middle and then you crank around one more row until you get back to that last row. This just takes all of the yarn off of the hook so now you can start. Essentially all I'm doing is taking the needle and taking off each loop around the hook and so starting from the start of your row going all the way around. Okay, now the work is off the machine, pulling that yarn through, and then I like to just put the needle back through the stitch and just 
tie off a knot to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. Let's stretch out the knitting. And we have a sleeve. We have two finished sleeves. Now we attach it to the cardigan and I'm just using the same method that I used in my last video. We're taking the crochet hook and just slip stitching the sleeves to the cardigan. Okay, so I show you how to properly do this in my how to knit a top video that'll be linked for you so you can watch that and see how I do this. It's just slip stitching at the sides together and then slip stitching at the sleeves as well. Just make sure you're turning your work inside out so that the right sides are facing inwards. And there we go, we have sleeves on our cardigan. Now for these rope ties, essentially we are making cords, it's called an eye cord. I placed stitch markers on all the places I wanted to Put the rope so I knew the placement and then I cut strings that when you fold them in half it equals to a hundred centimeters. I'm also doubling the yarn because I wanted the cords to be a little bit thicker so I'm doing two strands of yarn at the same time. So now I'm just putting my hook into where I want the cord to go and pulling the strings through and then as you can see working with two kind of strands is the one on the left and the one on the right. So to do this I am just wrapping my hook around this string on the left, the first string there, so that I have two loops on my hook and then I'm pulling that right strand of yarn through the two loops I just made. So you're kind of doing a single crochet, looping my hook around the left yarn and then pulling the right yarn through the two loops I've just made. I'm hoping that by watching this you'll kind of get what I mean, I'm kind of terrible at explaining this, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It, it did take me a couple of tries though. So. Okay, it is another, another new day. I am determined to get all the pieces that I want done today. We do have the finished cardigan piece, which I'm going to show you at the end. You get a full reveal at the very end of all the pieces. But for now, let's move on to the skirt. So I feel like most of you will have seen my first century knitting machine video, and that was me making a midi skirt. But I'm using the same method that I made in that video, which was basically making like two, like a front panel and a back panel, and then two like side panels. So that's the method we're doing. And then I also wanted to make more of like a mini skirt rather than a midi skirt, just cause I feel like it'll be really fun with this outfit. So going back to the panel setting now for this. Now I measured two of my favorite mini skirts just to get like a good length and size. And the length that I'm looking for is about 45 centimeters but we're gonna do a little bit longer because I do want to be able to fold the waist down and put elastic through so we're gonna make 50 centimeter panels and for this first initial panel we're gonna just cast on the whole machine and then I think for the second panel we'll do like maybe 20 We have four panels here for the skirt. So we've got two of the bigger panels here and two of the thinner panels as well. Have a little bit of yarn left. I've got a whole skein that hasn't been used and a little bit left here. So I, I kind of want to try and make Misa a sweater. So let's try and do that. So I kind of measured the smaller panel kind of around her body and I think it does fit. So I'm just going to make Kind of the same number of pins that I did for this but obviously make it shorter like half the size of this um, and I'm gonna make two of those I don't actually know if this is gonna work but I'm thinking like you just need like the front panel and the back panel and then you like sew it together essentially like a normal top but it's just smaller hopefully this works let's see I'm gonna make these and then come back to you because I assume you were very bored of just seeing me make panels at this stage I know I am, so I'll, I'll see you when the panels are done. Okay, so I finished making the panels and here I'm showing you where we are stitching to make the top. So obviously leaving a hole for the neck and two holes for her arms. And I just kind of guesstimated this, um, obviously based on her sizing. And yeah, just slip stitching together like I would with making a normal, like, human sized top, which is doing a very very mini version for a little doggy. Okay, we're up to the final part of the skirt, which is attaching everything. And I wanted to actually try and use a sewing machine to attach everything. I pretty much only use my crochet hook, slip stitch all my pieces together. And I do love that method, 
but I wanted to try something new. I have actually had this sewing machine for a little while now and I've never used it. Um, I really wanted to get back into sewing and I just, it's so intimidating. It's very intimidating, but we're gonna try it with today's project. I've pulled up a YouTube video by Jenna Phipps on how to sew for beginners. It's very informative. She's very good ex at explaining things. This is like bringing back so many memories. I have not used a sewing machine literally since high school. I pinned the bigger piece and the smaller piece together so that should be what it looks like if all goes well obviously if you don't have a sewing machine then you could do the crochet method or just hand sew all of these methods work but i wanted to bust this bad boy out finally and do this Oh my gosh, just went for a very simple straight stitch and you can barely see the thread in there, which is amazing. I've been going to the places where we used to We have something that slightly resembles a skirt. So now we're gonna add elastic and I've just measured this to my waist, the right side. So this is the outside of the skirt. We're essentially gonna on the inside, sew this piece down around the whole skirt so that we can then thread the elastic through. So very bad explanation as well because this is the first time I've done something like this, so. Cause lately I've been feeling so confused. We've got a separate ways and never see your face to face. We have finished with the, what do you call this? Do you call this hem, a hem or like, I don't know, just the part where the elastic will go through. It's not the best job in the world, but it'll do. So now I've got my elastic and I've got a safety pin on the end. Just going to use that to thread it through the little loop that we've now made. Right, the elastic is all the way through the skirt. Now we have to sew the elastic together with the machine and then we can close out the waistband and then we will be done and before I do that just make sure that the elastic isn't twisted anywhere in the skirt it was that would have been very bad if I did not check that now I'm like double checking okay we're definitely good we're definitely good all right I'm, I'm gonna sew this together now done pop that in there and then I'm going to sew this bit over it is reveal time This turned out so much cuter than I thought. I was a little bit worried there, but like, I think we nailed it. I just love this yarn. Like, this yarn is so, so stunning. It worked up so beautifully. I love the fit of the cardigan, actually. It turned out like the perfect length, I thought. When I'd made those panels, I was a little bit worried because I thought I'd made them a little bit too long. It's the perfect amount of like oversized. I think I slightly didn't line up the bows as well but if i didn't tell you that you wouldn't have noticed right i think it's amazing also i didn't show you i did make myself a little hair bow it's super easy i made kind of a short one but you literally just do maybe like 10 rows in the panel setting and you get a cute little hair bow i also love how the skirt came out honestly for my first time sewing in like a few years like with a sewing machine i think we've done it pretty well it fits beautifully I tried to do a little bit of hemming because the edges of the skirt were really, really wonky and not very neat looking. So I did just go around the bottom and try to hem it a little bit. Is it perfect? No. Do I care? Not really. Is it still cute? Absolutely. I honestly think we nailed the brief here. This is my dream sparkly outfit. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday, but I'm gonna wear this. Like, this is so fun. Oh, and also the best part. We have a matching outfit for me, so isn't this so cute? A little matching vest. This was the easiest thing to make up as well. Fits perfectly. It's a little crop top. We match me so. She doesn't want to be here. All right, I'm sorry. I am so, so happy with this. I think this is just so much fun. I'm absolutely upset.
But no way 